podcaster, your play-by-play and frequent meteor hammer purchaser, Party Petey. Here to cast some more glorious C Dota in the world of the Pro Dota Cup series. Welcome to game number two of Team Evos versus Orange Gaming Team. Yes, not the Orange Gaming Team that you might have thought was Orange Gaming Team, but this Orange Gaming Team is a completely different Orange Game Gaming Team than the Orange Gaming Team that was Pro forever ago. This is not them. Not them. All right, it's not them. Understand? It's not them. Okay, these are new people. This isn't even the orange logo. This is a different orange. It looks like a two from this perspective. Five seconds remaining. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to game number two after a stunning performance from Team Evos in game number one, making the recovery show from... Uh, Getting dominated in that bristleback lane, getting those easy kills on Tina's bristleback. Now we have Team Evos game number one. This will be game number two's draft. First ban out is the Undying, still from last game. It was actually the first, it was the last ban in the first phase for them last time. Beastmaster banned out. Orange don't want to deal with that. Following that will be the Naga Siren for Team Evos. Just a very strong position for us still that gets banned a lot. Following that is the Murata ban, another one in specific with last game by the looks of it. And it's, it's also just a generic good band in general. Then um, Windy will be the next band there. Don't know what's going on here with Evos' last pick here. Windy will be the last ban out for Team Evos. Does not want to deal with that. Extra bit of damage coming out from the Lightning Maelstrom. Basically the big pew-pew from the Windy. Everyone's starting to ban that hero a lot more often. Following that is the Trim Protector, another one that's still just uh, being banned out in general. Crystal Maiden still made it through, though. It will be Crystal Maiden as the first pickup for Team Evo's Clockwork and Shadow Demon. The follow-up, Evo's burning through that... That reserve time there, almost concerning Radiant that something may have happened, but looks like that's not it. They'd actually instantly lock this DK. So, free DK. And they take this Shadow Demon. Could we be surprised that this is a farming Shadow Demon? Saw this in an EU game where the Shadow Demon picked up Aghanim Scepter and just was really, really strong, but just couldn't carry the game. This could be another possible duplication of this. Highly doubt it, though. Highly doubt it. This is probably just the support Shadow Demon. Radiant team ban. First ban out be the Luna in the second phase. Just an old classic Shadow Demon Luna wombo combo. That's definitely not happening in this game, but. That is a combo that happened back then, almost all the time. So, just a safety ban in a sense. Definitely not a bad one indeed. Lycan, following. Just another pushing hero that uh, Orange don't want to deal with. Enchantress following that. Instant locking the Necro in the second phase. But um, Shadow Fiend being the last ban in the second phase for Team Evos, that's just another eventual deny of a, a lot of illusion damage, as well as a really strong mid against uh, the possible DK mid. It will be a 4 Dark Willow picked up. Or uh, maybe a 4 Dark Willow, I don't know. It's definitely a 5 Maiden though, 100%. Seconds Drinking up me water. That's right, I'm a weird Five person. I have canned remaining. water. They call it soda. 
Yeah, last uh, last draft, Orange burned up all their reserve time. This time, quite the other way around, Evo's burning up theirs first. Radiant team pick. Blood seeker. Yeah, there we go. That's a that's a that's a I want to win the mid, no matter what hero you pick, right here. Dire team back. And that's that's uh that's uh I want to make sure that this seeker doesn't win it that hard. Mid pick here. So, Lena, heavy magic damage. It's definitely gonna be the mid, I guess, in this scenario. DK will be put elsewhere. Maybe this will be the aggro off lane DK. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. Batrider is still the last ban out from Orange. I don't don't really quite understand that Batrider ban. I think that's just a an empty ban. In all honesty, unless they want to run the Lena in the safe, make it an aggro safe. Ten seconds remaining. Yo, well, Evos need an off laner. Both of them need off laners, really. Oh, well, Clockwork is off laner. They need a five or a four. They ban the Earth Spirit, maybe. That feels like such a random hero to ban, but it's it's definitely one of those four or five heroes that's like secretly in the back, in someone's back pocket. The question is, is like whether you're gonna run this Shadow Demon a five or a four. Radiant team pick. What? Oh, four clockwork, right? It's a four clockwork. I keep on forgetting about this. It's a four clockwork, guys. I'm smart. All right. I'm. I'm like. I'm smart, guys. It is almost four a.m. Ten seconds remaining. Yeah, that 4 a.m. holds you over pretty Five hard sometimes, eh? Uh. Dire team pick. Omni Knight. Uh huh. Hang on, what? What? Hang on. H hang on. What? Talk about dead heroes that has, well, not dead heroes, but heroes been left in the pool that's not picked up Ten often. What's seconds. going on here? Omni Knight. Five seconds remaining. What are you doing here? This is interesting. Okay. I mean, this is just as weird as the last pick Nyx Assassin, I guess. Choose your hero. All right. Let's see how this unfolds here. Aveal will be running the Omni Knight, so... Alright. Alright. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Mid Lena. This is a, uh, a no-item game from Orange Gaming. Look at how they have no items on their heroes. And the Crystal Maiden has Arcana. Facehugger has the nice feather dress. Aveal, or Illogic, has the nice DK set. Uh, White Mod's got nothing, but that's because there's only one thing for Dark Willow. And then Aveal. Mmm, look at that. That looks so good. Omni Hammer with the new head. I do miss, I do miss the head with the halo. I really do. But uh, one must make sacrifices to make sure the Immortals fit. And then the new wings. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they're going through the strategy time. May I remind you, I am your caster, Party Petey. Find me on Twitter, Petey Dota. But likely, if you contact me now, I won't listen because holy moly, it's 4 a.m. So, not me, all right? Not me, baby. It's 4 a.m. All right, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last game of tonight. 
or this morning or the afternoon or so on so forth for whoever you are wherever you are and whenever you are i have no clue all right ladies and gents welcome to some glorious soda 2 game number two of evos versus orange evos with game number one let's go into the game here we have dragonite well first and foremost we have evos on the side of the radiant illogic We'll be playing the DK Omni Knight, played by Avil, Dark Willow by Teku, Crystal Maiden by White Mon, and Lena, played by Facehugger. Meanwhile, on the side of the Dire, we have Orange, Nico, will be playing the Clockwork Change, will be on the Seeker Necrophos by Tina, Zeus by Up, and Shadow Demon, played by Lost. And already, some right clicks going out here. Ward is up on the clockwork. Triple Mango for the Dragon Knight. It's at 3.4 regen. Alright, what do we got? Tina's gonna go for a big boy wand by the looks of it. They do manage to get two even runes. Nico been, uh, burning a little bit of mana. Not so much HP as he's going to go ahead and just eat up a tree. Looks like it is the safe lane Necro. The mid Zeus against the Lena. Which I think was what they had initially planned. And now the off lane, the aggro off lane Seeker. That deals so much damage at one. Uh, Teku, what are you doing? You are barrel stuff trading right clicks with change. Holy moly, you have no attack style animation. It's like the range juggernaut. It is literally the range juggernaut. Change did not even get that last hit. He is, he's, he's had no HP already. This is ridiculous. Who is going to buy the wand first? Lena already has one. Lena has a big boy wand, actually. Up. Going to rush that bottle. Vanish going out on top of Veal. Drops the heal. And he is good at the end of the day. Yes, I am aware my ping is high. I am a NA caster on your wonderful sea world. Look at me in praise. No. Yeah, no, I'm an NA caster, guys. I'm, I'm stuck, you know? No great region that's like one great region for the, uh, for the great NA casters. That Shadow Realm damage. 120 damage at the full tick. Not to mention they have CM, so it's, it's not like you can't spam it. Looks like this game is a lot of regen, actually, so I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a Spirit Vessel gets built up on this Omni Knight eventually. It is the right hero to have a Spirit Vessel. Oh, now, uh, now Seeker deals a lot more damage to Teku. Teku is uh, living the extraordinarily greedy life there. Wow, that was that was something, all right. Vanished. He's gonna go ahead and heal, but he's still getting pumped in by his own hammers. Don't like the angle that the helmet's forcing us in. Looks like Teku is going down. His greed finally catches up to him. How's the Zeus doing? He's got a bottle. He's doing all right. All that fun jazz. Face hugger! <laughs> Bet I caught you off guard, huh? Breaking the clarity of heal. Nope, it's going to be okay. Back down and bottom. 
Right clicking away. Change. Getting low HP. Don't matter. Clockwork is here. Ready to help. Position four clockwork. I got you a salve, buddy. Don't worry. Remember when you said three mangoes should be good enough? Yeah, no, you were wrong. Three mangoes were not good enough, my friend. Cursed ground going out, and that is a very dead Teku. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe not. Shadow Realms? It's actually at half HP, which will be the big surprise here. Well, I mean, I say that's a big surprise. He gets body blocked by DK for one second and dies. The logic. It's like, alright, well, I mean, that just happened, so... Sucks for you. <laughs> this poor CM. It's poor Omni Knight. Doesn't even have repel yet. Banishes the CM. Is like, yeah, CM's the low HP hero here. Let's go for her. Let's get her good. Let's get him good. Feels like I've got to wait. Hang on. I've got a hammer to nail down your sin. Yeah, I can't do his voice. I know his voice lines. Can't do his voice. I carry a hammer to nail down your sin. Same difference. This will come in handy. The rune spawned up, lost, already picks it up, and it actually is going to get vanished. Slow's going to be there, but will be enough. The thing is, is that the degen aura comes off of the illusions, too, so... Now the Zeus is coming in. They're looking to find a counter kill. That degen aura providing that little bit of time is good enough. That TP, though... Looks like it was actually wanting to use the shrine, but rippity do. I am, I am PD, Dota. That is my Twitter. Okay. 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 Fuck it. There. You wanted it, buddy. Shadow form lost. Will it be enough time? Oh my god, just barely. He knew, though. He knew. Oh, going out on the level 3 on the in top. Meanwhile, Facehugger getting a kill on the clockwork bottom. Goes down just by right clicks in the natural degen heart stopper. Still 3 1 though. Orange manages to lead the kills yet again. Facehugger getting it. Getting Nico in the mid actually. I didn't actually see where that was purely because I wanted to see how top was going. And top had a, a kill that I was actually like doing a thing. I don't know. I don't know. DK got face. DK does got face. He's an old man. Evos. The logic is in a bit of trouble here. Clockwork Flare goes out. Cogs will hold him off for the time being. Now the battery assault holds him down. The assault will claim the kill. No, that was four being dedicated for that. Clockwork ult nor Bloodseeker ult were not even up and available yet. So they weren't even used. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Millions of X pings going out onto the Dark Willow. Clarity being activated by Zeus in the mid. Game's pretty passive so far, four and one. Last time at ten minutes, the game kinda went really out of ham. Out of hand and out of ham. Logic dropping that early. Level one stun, man. 2.5 seconds at level 1. There's no reason not to get it. Held up in the cogs. cogs. The logic understands that the seeker is up on the high ground, so he's just going to go ahead and disengage from the low. Look at that old man face. Look at that old man face. I don't know how people actually like that face. Reddit's like, that face is super good. I don't know what's wrong with you, Reddit. I really don't. Lost. Going to go ahead and vanish. Get that face sucker vanish. Actually gets pretty low. Still manages to get lost. Bloodseeker ult goes out on the now to die Dark Willow as Orange will clean him up. Actually, will they do? They do. They clean him up. Will they find a veal is the question. Being held up by the creeps. It's like, go around it, dum-dum. Does manage to get hit. 
Eats a good old blast to the face there. Silence. Pretty centered, but he's okay. Actually understood he was uh, given the HP there. So the 53 and 14 DK who has died once is farming pretty decently. Stun goes out on Tina. Stun goes out yet again. Although the break goes out on the creep. Will they be able to get the kill on Tina? They won't because Zeus comes in. Drops a lightning bolt down just to force out some rotation. Now we go to the 55 and 8. Lena who has been free farming the mid ever since the Zeus has decided to become a roamer. Now the Shadow Demon is here in the mid to counteract that statement I just said. Point eight. It's only level one in Aura. Oh yeah, it's only level five in total. But let's go ahead and jump over to the net worth as we see the Necro is leading the top of the net worth at 3.9. It's going to go for the Veil O oh, Discord. Following that will be the Bloodseeker running at 3.8, basically 3.9 as well. Zeus Ult goes down, actually manages to kill a Veal while in the fountain. They know. And White Mon knows that they know that White Mon knows. Lightning Bolt goes down, out onto Dark Willow. Not even I could target Dark Willow. Lightning Bolt will go down and claim her life. Well, the logic is like, alright, I'm just gonna go back to farming, I guess. Anyway, it looks like Shadow Blade will be the pickup for DK here. But I still want to go and talk about how Lena is actually top of the net worth here at 4.5 now. It's going to go for a Bloodstone, actually. Pretty classic lineup. It's going to be the caster, Lena. Root goes out. The stun will not land because it's not needed. The stun was actually going to be used elsewhere. Bloodseeker ult goes out onto Teku. And Teku, no real way to escape here. The silence will claim his life. Well, the range creep will really do that. Goes into Shadow Realm. Is low enough HP, but he's still visible by the smoke, I believe. And, uh, no, he's getting out of here. Eight and two still, though, Orange. Possibly going to get the first ten kills here. I know that's a pretty important thing for a lot of you out there. Whoever gets those first ten kills. Because uh, that's what you put the bets on, right? Blackboard Cook, already expended for something else. Might not have seen it. Level 3, man. <laughs> 210 damage. Actually, only goes up by 40. Whereas. No, it goes 40, 40, and then 50. Crystal Maiden caught in the back lines. Necro ult to go down. That is one dead and remove Crystal Maiden. Though it looks like they do try to go for loss. Bloodseeker ultimate goes out. A lot of going to try and TP out. That's not happening. That is happening, I guess. Orange to be 2 and 9. And Bloodseeker to rush at BKB. That's actually an amazingly smart play. That breaks the fact that DK has powerful spells. That makes it to where he's basically immune to everything from Dark Willow. Crystal Maiden can't Q and W. Lena is all magic, basically, until uh, Aghanim Scepter, but definitely not going to be an easy pickup there. Flair goes out. They do manage to spot out Teku. No reason to hide. Goes into Shadow Realm. The Clockwork Cook goes out. The Silence will confirm the kill. That's the first 10 kills. Over to Orange. Esports. Zeus TPing into the mid to try and defend as Loss is pushing in the wave. The counter pushing in the wave. Tower is now. Deny range gets the deny. Stun goes out on the Shadow Demon, but it looks like they make the illusions actually. These are really good illusions. Looks like the magic community is going to be expended. Maybe if they right click the tower, that'd be great, but they won't. Bot tower to be fortified. The silence will also not tick onto the creeps. Player goes out, they do manage to still spot Teku again. 
it's another scenario. If you get spotted in the side, why even hide? Zeus going to go for the 25 XP. I think that's definitely good as he's just really going to go and smash it good. Smash it good. Dyer's top tower is under attack. All right, and Zeus, like I was saying, guys, it's it's literally the what the way you play Zeus. All right, this is how you play Zeus, guys. You wanna you wanna win Dota games. You wanna win Dota games. Last pick Zeus when you know you need a Zeus, and then rush Aghanim Scepter after you get Boots and Kaya. You're done. You wanna you wanna win. You want that easy 25 MMR. That's what you gotta do. Nico gets revealed, breaks his cogs onto the creeps. Is not gonna be able to find a jump. Seeker would be a great help to this. Fear goes out, and there's the Seeker, though. Drops it out onto the Crystal Maiden, who is already silenced. Anyway, goes down immediately. Actually, that was Nico going down here. White Mon just hanging out with a Bloodseeker ult. Now goes down to up. Thanks to the Zeus ultimate, as well as a stray lightning bolt, but lost. Most likely will be the only trade here. They might actually get a logic if they get him low enough. They do get him low enough. He goes down. Lost being stunned up. Are they afraid now is the question. Lost. Okay. One more right click will do. But the clicks and the Zeus ult. The power of lightning. Going to work. Clarity being popped up. Looks like it is... Still the personal pipe. Going back up and top. Necro ult going on the CM to hold him down. White Mon... Trying to run away, but the flare goes out to confirm the kill. Good shot from Nico. Level 1 Rocket Flare. Now level 2, but level 1 Rocket Flare claiming the kill on the poor Crystal Maiden. Let's go ahead and check out DK. Still going to work on that Shadow Blade. He's going to have to walk all the way back down the bot. He's not happy about this. Shadow Blade against a Invis primary team, of which the Zeus already has two pieces to Axe. This is a very scary game, guys. Zeus isn't even that... Well, uh, he's, he's third on the net worth. He's not tied, but he's third on the net worth. It's it's uh, it's it's pretty scary, guys. It's, it's definitely a scary game here. Avil getting low up in the top here. It goes down to the Zeusel. That will claim yet another stack of gold for him. Now they're going to go ahead and whack up the top here. Orange doing pretty good though. They are 14 and 4, and it's a Necrophos Dagon rush. You know, I like this. There's there's so few durability heroes on here. I think a Dagon is nice. I think what's gonna happen is he's gonna build level 2 Dagon and then he's gonna switch to Ags and then he'll finish Dagon. Sick fake donation, dude. <laughs> Calling you out. Fake donation. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the items. Shadow Blade's up on TK. BKB is next. Omni Knight gonna go for a Force Staff. Has the Hood of Defiance. Dark Willow gonna go for the Spirit Vessel. Has Basic Urn. Crystal Maiden still working on trying to finish Tranquil's. Nina gonna go for Shadow Blade. BKB into the Force Staff. Has Bloodstone. Up and running. Clockwork gonna go for the Spirit Vessel. Has Urn and a Big Boy Wand. Bloodseeker is going to go for the blade mail, has BKB and Boots. Hood of Defiance, as well as Veil of Discord up on the Necro, is going to go for the Dagon, as we thought so. As we thought. And then the Aghanim Scepter, still pretty darn close. 100, about 400 gold away at this point. It's not bad, 500 gold now. Three, four man aggressive smoke. Illogic pops the shadow blade, looking for the jump on change there, but do the low ground there. Won't be able to get him. They do manage to get the tower in the top lane. TP coming in. They're not going to be able to find anything. They know about the brigand gank. So they do get the fear out onto the clockwork as well as the seeker. Looking for the seek though. Drops the W. The BKB. Evo's doing a lot of damage. Facehugger getting two. They will go ahead and get White Mon though. Orange does manage to rupture a target. Don't know who and don't know where. 
probably one of the only two dead heroes. They do get the removal of a veal. Does have BK or does have buyback if really need be. And then Zeus getting low. He actually wants to save himself for the time being. DK though comes in. One right click will claim his HP and his life. BA 3 3 trade overall. Definitely going to the way of Evos though once we get the, uh, the show the fight recap here. Yep, it is going in the way of Evos. Oh, it's four actually. I mean, the CM's not worth anything, so whatever. <laughs> Nothing of value was was lost this day. The CM has a fourteen hundred net worth. It's not a lot. That's one thousand four hundred, man. Dude, I don't know what you're talking about. Those donations aren't real. <laughs> Guys are done. What's going on? Why do you think those are real? Let's see. BKB still kicking on that DK as he is fifth in the net worth. Omni Knight still. Now he's going to go for a pipe. He's going to disregard the chances of four staff. Four man aggressive rotation here. It's going to break on a logic who gets revealed up on the high ground. Zeus ult goes out. How are they going to stop this? Fresh Nimbus, baby. Zeus ult looking for the right clicks. They will go ahead and kill off the DK. That's a great kill. What are you doing, Willow? Clockwork Flare goes out. Trying to scout out something. Not going to find anybody. That's why Mon's already leaving. Ah, see, he went for a level 1 Dagon, and now he's going to go for Blink. Not bad. Not bad. Fortification being expended. 20 move speed picked up for the clockwork. 360 damage. Tower does manage to go down to the cannon. They do manage to find a very... No, maybe not dead of eel. They do manage to get the face hugger as well. They're going to break that beak. They're going to break that fresh stone. Down to six Dolores. Down to six charges. Change walking directly into Teku. Actually, it's the other way around. It's not enough, though. Not enough. Let's see. Necro, top of the net worth, likely has a blink dagger now. And like I said, buys Dagon, buys blink, then he's going to buy an axe, and then he's going to finish Dagon. Like, he's going to finish Dagon. That's a big thing here. He'll finish Dagon eventually, guys. He'll 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 get an axe though. He'll get an axe. Lena still second at the net worth though. He's gonna go still for that BKB. He has the shadow blade up and running. Smoke goes out, manages to catch the Lena at the last second there, but the fresh BKB picked up on Dragonite should change the fight quite a bit. Never really been a fan. Of just Shadow Blade DK. Activates Dragon Form. Looking for a jump on anybody here. Radiant, Radiant drops the scan, so they're like, alright, well, they're not there. Let's go all the way around. Radiant's bottom and nothing there. Alright, let's go down to the bot here. Oh, we picked him up on our very nice ward here that catches all of the heroes. But that's all of the heroes. Smoke expires. That's one dead maiden. Shadow Blade activated for logic. He wants to go back in. No way. With just two? There's two. They know that a logic's there. They have. No, they don't have hook. They used it on the maiden. Counter smoke play going out. They want to try and catch something on the offhand here. 
Smoke reveals. They see the DK in the mid. They find the jump. The Zeus ult goes out, but the fear is perfect. Lands on all four heroes to push them back. That's a Zeus ult wasted. Of course, I say wasted. Zeus ult, like, compared to Nimbus, literally does no damage. Like, let's look at Nimbus here, alright? Let's go to Zeus, alright? Nimbus, alright? Lightning Bolt base cooldown is 2.25. The base cooldown for current Lightning Bolt is 6. So this strikes every 2.25 seconds, excluding if you get the CDR talent, which is at 15, or at 20, or an Octarine. Hang on. Seeker is uh, in a bit of trouble here. He's gonna rupture to try and push one out. The DK is going to be leaving at the end of the day, and the Viol will be the only one falling here. Down he goes. So let's look at this here. Alright, Nimbus. It's 2.25. And one lightning bolt deals 350 damage. So let's let's take away like let's take away 40 damage from magic resistance. So it's 310 damage. His ult does 325 damage. One Nimbus deals one ult at level 2. And it strikes at 2.25. So... That's pretty crazy, guys. That's pretty crazy. They know that the DK is there. They drop the Nimbus. They go for it. The magic damage is ridiculous. He's dead. That is a... Veil. Yeah, that was the veil. Yeah. That's that's magic damage, guys. 100%. God, he just... Hang on, I want to look at this. Damage done. What did he do? Did he have, like, five of these on him or something? God. Oh, he got... It says bonus damage because of the thing he put on him. Nimbus goes down to finish up this Roche. Yeah, Nimbus deals way more damage than Ult at this point. Like, why get... Why why use Thunder God's Wrath as a fight item? Like, it's, it's like Nimbus deals way more damage. And for the cooldown it has, like, why even bother with Thunder God's Wrath? He's going, he's going for an Octarine by the looks of it, too. Unless he's going for Bloodstone. I really doubt he's going Bloodstone. Down in the bot, DK looking to get the stun out on Necro. Necro purging out, Illogic has BKB, pops it down, Teku goes down, but Nico will be the return kill, Illogic being slowed down by the one ability that works through that, as well as being Bloodseeker, Blood ulted, and so on and so forth, White Mon. Trying to run away, and Lost does not have a great way to catch up to him, so... White Mon likely to escape. Let's look at this nice Crystal Maiden here, actually. Uh, why does it say it's a Stock Maiden? What? That's not a Stock Maiden. And they're gonna push this bot tower. They want to force a DK buyback with only 20 seconds on it. The Lena with 7 Bloodstone charges. It's definitely not scary. The Bloodseeker with Aegis. Oh, Blade Mail on top of the Shadow Demon Disruption. That's fine, though. As well as the Nimbus being dedicated as well. I do love the Repel animation, but I just hate the hammer. I also hate, like, the way that his picture stands. Like, look at his, look at his picture. Look at his head, actually. His head's, like, angled wrong. Oh, uh, look at me go! Look at my head. Look at my head. This isn't amazing. What? Lena's at the top of the net worth, by the way. It's still at 15.5 now. She's gonna go for Boots Travel. Has BKP and a 7 charge bloodstone. Look where that got you. Necrophos running at level 20 though. Is next to the net worth at 1500 even. Now has the Aghanim Scepter. And as I said. Oh my god he's not even going to finish the Dagon. He's going to go BKB now. 
Oh my, he's got to be careful. Necro chill going out on them creeps. Zuzo goes down, Nimbus maybe to be dedicated? No. Flare goes out, it's not going to find anything unless Clockwork wants to go for a really cheeky hook here. How long is this range? That is huge. Maybe. Maybe. Got another flare. He flared down, so he has no idea that they're actually both still here. Agadim Scepter for the Seeker. Oh, man. This is an Ags game for sure. Lost. Zeus Ult goes down. The Nimbus. They know there's one, at least one. He's in the range of the Nimbus, though. That TP ain't going out. They do manage to at least get one. They get... They get the Omni out. The Omni with Mech on his mind. I'm sorry, I don't think Mech is a good thing anymore. I'm pretty sure Mech isn't good anymore. 100%. 100%. Seeker's got the Heaven's Halberd. Now this is how you play Seeker if you were here for the very first series. I mean, Radiant Seeker is great and all, as we see uh, Tina actually getting a monster kill out on Facehugger there, with Necro Ultimate being charged down as well. That will just set him down. They're going to be able to find another one here. Aveal getting low. Right clicks doing the work, actually. Dang, how much damage is that? Shadow Poison damage, XP gain. How much is that? That's 50 bonus overall damage. Because it's not just, uh, what is it called? What is it called? It's not just magic damage, guys. It's all damage. And Necro went 40 damage in the 80 attack speed. That's one dead tower, and Lost actually gets the tower. Zeus is here. DD rune active. Yep, like I said, he is going to go for that Octorene core. Nina dead for a whopping 50 seconds here, so they're gonna just walk on this mid tower here, or mid tower, top tower, and likely take it down. Don't see a big way they do not take it down. Tina going for a good old ult, but does not manage to catch the one that he wants. Gets the fear out on two. Love Seeker ult will go out as a response, though I don't know who it went on. I'm, I'm pretty sure it went on the very now dead Teku. Agatim Scepter. Yeah, that's pretty close for the Seeker now. I'd be scared of this game. This with the DK. They come in with that ult. They put him down. The Blink Daggers are ridiculous. There's a Blink on the Seeker. They force staff loss. Drop the W on him. They blinked in the Zeus. They W'd him. They... Blinked in the Seeker, he dropped the Silence, he blinked in the Necro, Dagon ulted, and then removed the DK. They're gonna take more. They are going down. They do manage to lose Nico, though. Facehugger with BKB basically active. He's got a nice repel. Nimbus goes down. Now it's Facehugger's actual BKB, Bloodlust. Blood Ultimate. Blood Seeker Ultimate goes down on Lena. Goes down just by the generic death in general, and now. Is a very dead looking mid tower here. Orange dominating 931. DK dropping the buyback. That's what they want. Now they're going to go ahead and get on out of there. They understand it's time to go. And you know, with a team of four blink daggers and a four staff, who would have known, right? Who would have known? Anyway, let's look at the top of the net worth. We have the Necrophos leading the top of the net worth because he's getting all those last hit kills. 19.2 has the BKB up and running now. 20, level 23. Level 23, guys. My question is, both of these 25 talents are actually terrible. I would like to figure out which one he goes for. I would I'd really do. I'd really do. Second in the net worth is the Blood Seeker, who is running at 17.8. He's got the Aghanim Scepter up and running, and he's got those two charges. The team of Blink Daggers, ladies and gentlemen, blinking to steal the farm directly in front of your hero, Zeus. Third in the net worth, basically has the Octarine Core if he's so pleased to go get it. Will be his buyback if he does so, so maybe he wants to hold on and just 
be a little safe. Maybe not know that he's TPing to the shrine, blinking over to the... Yep, nope, I was wrong completely. Smoke being expended. They get a hook out on the very now dead white one. Drops the observer, gets dewarded instantly. Zeus ult, not dedicated, however. I don't think it's up even. Yeah, 56 seconds. They won't be able to find anything. Yules, maybe no. Flare is available, but a old bow and TP out, so there's no way they're going to get it. And yeah. Who's third? Fourth in the net worth. We're going to the fourth net worth is Lena. It's going to go for the Chrysalis into the Daedalus. Following that is the DK at 12.6. It's going to go for Lincolns. Has BKB Blink and Shadow Blade. Now, I love the Blink and Shadow Blade. Mostly just love the Blink, though. But uh, against this team who also has Blinks, it's a little scary. And that is one dead Teku again. Omni Knight running at 10,000 even. It's going to go for the Lotus. Has. Has Mechanism. Has Pipe of Insight. He is ready to go. With what little damage auras he actually has. They get the Aegis. Smoke expended as well. Looks like the pocket item here is the Blade Mail. Clockwork Cook goes out, Ultimate goes out, and that's DK dead. No buyback available. Um, he is in a bit of trouble here. Without a DK, they have no super strong durable hero to try and counteract this push here. Stun goes out and actually misses due to the Heaven's Halibird, that right click there. They're going to clean up these barracks. Oh, nope, they're not. Blink team going in. They do not manage to get the Omni Knight. I say that, though. He's ruptured plus purged. I believe he still takes the purge damage, so he does not. He will actually try to TP to the base, but will go down to change and up. We'll get kill. We'll get the kill out on Teku. Facehugger. Invis. Blade Mail goes down. Disarm. What you going to do when Seeker is coming for you? Blink Dagger team going to work. Stun goes out onto the Bloodseeker, trying to put that stun off the clockwork by itself up and get another kill. Teen up, low HP's, gotta be careful. That is one Zeus getting right clicked hard. GG being thrown out there as Evos moves game number two. And Orange Gaming 37 and 9 pulling out the secret strat. Picking up that Bloodseeker and all that damage. All that amount to nothing as the game is 1-1 even. Orange Gaming in the game number two. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for the series. Series? 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 I? I don't know. But that is the last game for tonight. I do hope you enjoyed the video that you watched today. If you want to see more done by me or just done by anyone in general, please have a look around the rest of the channel. Leave a like, favorite, and subscribe on this video. And we will see you next time for some more. Dota 2 based equipment and stuff. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you all next time.